There's just something soothing about looking at a project with proper wire management. By putting in some extra effort and tidying up the wires, you'll immediately boost the quality of your DIY projects or just the looks of your surroundings. Since this is a such a broad subject, of course you can use all the tips in this video for all sorts of things, not only costly and DIY, which is mostly what I'm into, but for example your computer case wire management, or cleaning up your workspace, or I don't know, home stereo wire management or something. Uh, for temporary wire grouping I just love these reusable velcro strips. You just cut off a piece from a spool and just bundle a bunch of wires together. The best part about velcro is that it's reusable, so in case you want to add some more wires into the bundle or subtract some, well, you can. Pro tip, Velcro sticks to fabrics, so watch out if you're using next to clothing or curtains or furniture. But this can be used to your advantage. I remember using Velcro strips, for example, to fasten some cables to a carpet. Zip ties offer a more permanent and a more compact way of grouping wires. They come in multiple sizes and colors, so you can always find the right fit. The zip ties are really good at grouping wires together, but they're also really good at fastening them to something. The only drawback is that they're one-time use, so only go for them if you're certain you won't be changing things often. Pro tip, you can totally use zip ties not only for grouping wires together, but also for color coding. Wire sleeving is a great way of combining a lot of individual wires into a single solid cable, and it's almost unfair how good it looks. In addition to making your cable run look more sleek and uniform, it will also provide mechanical protection. I really wish I knew about this stuff before I built my Doomfist gauntlet. Additional wire protection in the elbow joint would have saved me like hours of repair time. So this braided sleeving comes in different lengths and widths and colors, and some is meant to be round and some is flat, but they're all quite straightforward to use. One thing to know about them is that they're braided like a Chinese finger trap, so if you over tighten them, uh, they make the cable quite stiff. To terminate the ends, you can either use a zip tie or shrink tube or just melt it shut. And speaking of shrink tubes, they're actually great for wire managing by themselves. Usually you would use a shrink tube for isolating an electrical connection, but no one says you can't use it to group a few wires together. You can use the shrink tube as is, like a tiny piece of sleeving, or you can shrink it and then it will be a bit more rigid. But what I often do, and I haven't seen anyone else do it, is I cut a bunch of shrink tube donuts and then slide it in equal intervals onto the wires. After they're heated up, the cable is nice and uniform, but the underlying color coding is still visible. And in some situations, that makes it superior to sleeving. If you have access to a sewing machine, especially for wearable projects, it's a good idea to use fabric for cable sleeves. For example, this is what I use for my animatronic thigh armor. This is just a piece of black fabric that I stitched lengthwise into a tube and glued down to this piece of leather. The fabric will hold the wires in place, but it will also bend around and move along with the supple leather. But the best cable management is the one you can avoid altogether. Leave a like if you like working smart, not hard. For example, instead of buying and using individual wires, you could be buying multi-strand ones, or even better, ribbon cables. Ribbon cable is a kind of a flat cable which has strands already wire managed and grouped for you. They're kind of like regular multi-strand cables, but they do not have an additional layer of insulation around them, making them that much thinner. I just really love them for my DIY projects, they just reduce bulkiness so much. Oh yeah, and before you go, if you ever need to fasten some wires to a wooden surface or MDF or something like that, what you can do is you can staple some velcro or some zip ties to the surface and make a perfect wire run in like under 20 seconds, say under a desk or something. I hope this video was useful, uh, maybe share it with a friend or two that might need some extra wire management skills in their lives. Uh, but yeah, that being said, thank you for watching and subscribe for more good content heading your way. Mm. <laughs> wow, what a great video, I agree. If you would like to see more of my stuff, I made a lot of videos over the years, so here's a few links for you to click on. Ooh, editing, editing, editing. <laughs>